Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back if you're new here. My name is Carly and this is a mostly knitting podcast where sometimes we do talk about other things like sewing or natural dyeing. Today we have a little bit of a different video where I have saved a whole bundle of shawl patterns on Ravelry and I wanted to share them all with you. It's officially shawl knitting season for where I live and I'm coming to you from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I'm trying to get excited for this colder weather, so I thought I would try and find some shawl knitting patterns that have really been inspiring me lately. And I'd love to share a few of my favorite with you here today. So this bundle will be linked down below in the description. And not all of them will be shown on this video today, but there are a few others that will be down there. And there will be a mixture of some newer patterns, some older patterns, some paid for, some free patterns. So just a bunch of everything using all different types of yarn weights and constructions and techniques and I'm really excited to share them all with you. So I have my computer screen just behind the camera here so I don't really have a plan for this video. I'm just going to look at this bundle and then pick out some that I'm really excited about today. Also if you have made any of these patterns or have any patterns in mind that have not been shown on today's video, please let me know down in the description box or down in the comments below and maybe I can add a few of those patterns to this bundle and then if you've made any, maybe let us know how that worked out for you and if you enjoyed the process. Okay, let's start here. I'm just on the bundle on Ravelry and Hmm. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you what I was wearing and what is behind me. <laughs> I always forget to, to say that. So I am actually wearing quite an old knit that I knit ages ago, well, maybe three or four years ago. And I knit this for my mom for Christmas and this was just when I was getting into garment knitting. And so it was actually a kit from We Are Knitters and this is the Barron's Cardigan knit in the their wavy wool in the color copper, I think. And she recently gave it to me because she, she loves the sweater but she just doesn't feel comfortable in it and doesn't really like the way it looks on her. So I gladly accepted it and um, it's really fun. It's a simple knit in pieces all garter stitch and then seamed up together after it's got these big balloon sleeves and this wavy wool is really cool you can see it gets thick and thin throughout and it's actually just been a really perfect knit for me to wear during like the cooler mornings and evenings of fall so I'm really thankful that I got this back again and then another item that we have here on display This is my pressed flower shawl by Amy Christoffers. I just thought that I would have it on the background today since we are talking about shawls and this is my most favorite knitted piece I've ever made and I'm so proud of it. I actually never wear it. <laughs> I've worn it maybe twice and I don't know why. I just, I think it's maybe the colors. I don't love wearing red as I'm sitting here wearing red, but this is more like a rusty copper and this is more of a, a bright red, but I'm just so proud of that. I love looking at it. It's such a masterpiece, I think, and I thought we would just have it draped over the chair today in honor of talking about shawls and shawl knitting. Okay, now back to what we were here for, which is this shawl bundle. Oops. Now, I think since we were just talking about Amy Christoffers and the Press Flower Shawl, why not go into the Press Flowers Kerchief? This was just released in September 2024 and it is a free pattern, which is a bonus. And this one is, I think, a really good introduction to mosaic knitting if you haven't tried that before. This pattern back here was my first introduction to mosaic knitting and it was actually quite daunting starting it because I was kind of a beginner knitter also. And I just thought I would give it a go and see what happens, but I think this kerchief would be much more manageable because as you can see, the flowers are only on the border and then the rest of it is just kind of like a really simple, it almost looks like a one by one mosaic knitting. So I think this would be a great introduction to that if, if this is a new technique for you. And I really want to make another one because 
Well, I wanted to make another one of these pressed flower shawl, but that took me so long that I don't know if I'm ready to commit to that again. So I think that this pressed flowers kerchief would be a great option for me just to kind of get that mosaic knitting in that I've been craving and the pressed flowers design that I love so much, but just on a much smaller scale and a quicker knit. And I think it'd be really fun to play with some of my, my naturally hand dyed yarns that I've been accumulating. And I think it would just be fun to play with some different color combos for this one. This one does call for DK, but again, with all of these shawl patterns, like gauge and yarn weight isn't really that important in my opinion. I think with shawls, you can kind of play around with whatever and adjust your needle sizes and just know that you're either going to get a smaller shawl or a larger shawl and you can adjust the stitches and the repeats to, to get whatever size that you're aiming for. This is a one size, but again, you could just keep doing the stitch repeats, or I think, and get a bigger shawl if you wanted something a bit more than just a, than a kerchief. So yeah, I think that this one, I could see myself knitting eventually. Again, I don't really have any like timelines for these projects that I'm showing today. I just kind of wanted to create something that I'm inspired by, and this one definitely gives me a lot of inspiration. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, this one. This is the Fakasha Shawl by Chris Berlin, and this was released November 2023, so about a year ago. It goes for about $9 Canadian, and it is knit in fingering weight yarn, And but again, you could change that, no problem. And what's really cool about this one is that it's all garter, so bonus, you <laughs> go by pretty fast with a garter and not having to purl but it has all of these cables throughout, but it looks like simple cables and it just gives it the most amazing texture. It gives it the texture of like focaccia bread. <laughs> it's so cool, but it says the focaccia shawl is reminiscent of waves, dune, and waterfalls and the ruffled pattern in braids gives the scarf a beautiful 3D effect with lots of volume. And it does, it gives it so much volume and it looks like the squishiest, coziest scarf slash shawl. I've ever seen and it's so unique I have not seen a lot of cable designs with garter stitch so I really like this and it just looks like the coziest thing here I really really want to knit this one I've never knit anything by Chris Berlin either but she has a lot of beautiful designs oh yes this one here this is the some me time shawl by Hohi Locatelli I also have never knit anything by Hohi Locatelli, but she also has amazing designs. This one was released in August 2021, and it goes for about $8 Canadian, and I really love this one also because the pictures of her samples are amazing. I love the colors and just the photography looks so good. And this one has garter stitch with also some lace panels in there. And I just love the way it looks. I think this looks, just looks like a really classic, beautiful, cozy shawl. It's like your typical triangular shape, but it's got eyelets and laces, laces, lace, and some like ripple design in there. It just looks beautiful. It calls, calls for a sport weight yarn. I think I would maybe want to knit this with with DK, just make it DK or worsted even, just to make it a little bit chunkier and cozier for winter. I think this one would be really fun to knit too. It's just the garter stitch and then the eyelets and the lace sections. It could be a good balance of both like engaging and mindless. This one is in my queue currently so I think I could I would actually want to knit this one fairly soon. Let's do another garter stitch shawl here. This is the Westerly Shawl by September Knits. I've never knit anything from September Knits, um, but this shawl just looks amazing. And this was released March 2020 and it goes for about $11 Canadian. It calls for worsted weight yarn, so this could knit up pretty quickly because it's worsted weight yarn and it's mostly garter stitch. There are different sections, two sections, no, three sections of like a bobble row. 
and then two sections of this like loopy fringe so it just looks so fun and engaging but like also you got the garter in there so it'd be really like easy and simple but then the edging of it does have a nice little like it looks like a two by two rib oh this one looks really pretty it looks so cozy too like you could just wrap yourself up in it in the coldest winter day and be fine there's only nine projects for this one and I don't know why because it's so cute I love this shawl I really want to knit this if only I had more worsted weight yarn in my stash then maybe I would knit this up pretty quickly or pretty soon I mean Yeah, I'm really into the garter stitch for shawls just because, you know, you don't have to purl on the wrong side. Not that I don't like purling, but it does slow me down a bit. And I guess there's nothing wrong with intentionally slowing down, but I do kind of like when some things can go a little bit quicker than normal because knitting is already a slow, a slow craft. So it's kind of nice sometimes to just get a, a quicker project on the go. Let's stick with the garter, and we've got the forest floor here by Janina Calio. This was released in November 2021. It goes for about $13 Canadian. It uses fingering weight yarn. Again, you could change that up. And this is just a straight, like, long rectangle, closer to a scarf than a shawl, but you could use it, like, as a wrap. And I think, especially if you use fingering weight yarn, this could transfer easily into the other seasons. Like, you could use this as, like, a little wrap over a dress in the spring and summer and I think that'd be a, so pretty and elegant but then yeah you could just wrap it around your neck several times in the winter to keep yourself nice and warm and this is mostly garter stitch with some eyelets and some lace in there so I really love that combination because you do get some mindlessness in there with garter but then you do have to pay attention every now and then with your with your um with your lace pattern. So I really am drawn to that kind of construction and techniques. Uh, it just seems really enjoyable. It seems like a really enjoyable combination to me. This one too only has nine projects, but I think it's so beautiful. It's like so simple, but looks like it would just be a really comforting knit to have in the cooler months. I could actually see myself knitting this fairly soon. Let's see, it's fingering weight yarn. I've got lots of fingering weight yarn, so I'd probably stick to that. It calls for 840 yards, so about like two skeins of fingering weight yarn. You could probably get away with getting a nice sized long scarf. Yeah, I would love to do this one. Hmm, This one's not on my queue, but I'm going to add it to my queue. There we go. Okay, let's see here. We've done lots of garter stitch, so maybe I can change it up a bit. Ooh, let's do this one. Okay, this one is the Avery Shawl by Nora Gon. Now, this one is in a book, the Knitwear Wool Studio Volume. God, I don't know what volume that is. Is that five? Nora Gon Collection. And I don't think you can buy... Oh, never mind. You can buy the pattern... Um, just by itself for about eight dollars. So that's good. You don't have to buy the book if you don't want to This one is just so unique and cool. It was released in May 2018. It calls for sport weight yarn and it's oh, This is crazy. So it's all it Says pentagon shapes But it's knit in the round, but it's also modular and seamless That's very cool it says the difficulty is easy, which is crazy, because it looks pretty difficult to me. <laughs> but it's got a really cool shape because I think the way that it's designed and like pieced together is that there's like openings for your arms. So you can like drape it over your shoulders and then there's like these nice slits for your arms, just like by the nature of the pentagon shape. Yeah, have any of you made this shawl before? There are only five projects on Ravelry. And you can do a two-color version. Someone did a two-color version here. You could do multiple colors, I guess. I think for myself, I would just want the one-color version. Oh, yes. I see one that I want to talk about. Okay, this is the... It's called Grandma by Junko Okamoto. 
and this was released August 2018. It goes for about $9 Canadian. It uses sport weight yarn, and this is just one of the most unique shawls I've ever seen, aside from the one we just talked about, maybe. <laughs> this one is really cool because it uses the entrelac, um technique, I guess, <laughs> entrelac stitches. I, I don't know, but it basically creates, it looks like a basket weave. It's not like the basket weave stitch from my understanding because I've never done entrelac, but it just makes it look like you've actually made like a woven piece of fabric, which looks so, so cool. And then there are some like pixel looking flower designs on here and it just looks absolutely amazing. I really need to make this, I think. <laughs> I should add this to my queue if it's not, or, you know, it's not. I'm going to add it to my queue. I've never made any patterns from Junko before. I do have the pattern, the um, bouquet sweater. I have talked about it on here before, and I have the yarn for it, but I still haven't cast it on or made it yet. Maybe this winter I'll get around to it. But she just has the most unique, cool designs. The only downside is that she usually only has one side or one, one size for her patterns, if I remember correctly. But for this shawl, I guess it doesn't matter. There's 61 projects for this, so that's cool. We can kind of go in here and see the different color combos. Ooh, there's one with like a black background and then a beige, the beige flowers. I really like that. Mm, this gray with the rusty red is beautiful. Oh, this one here. This one's got like a goldy muted mustard with some cream flowers. I love that. Wow. Yeah, what a beautiful design. That is so cool. Okay, which one should we pick next? Hmm. Let's go with this one because it's got a different technique that we haven't talked about yet. This is the Macklin by Suzanne Sommer, and this uses fingering weight yarn. It goes for about oh, $20 Canadian because it's part of an ebook where you get 11 patterns. So this one features brioche stitch, and it's just a really simple, long rectangular scarf slash wrap. This one too I think could transfer easily to each season using it more of like a cover up in the summer and spring months over a nice dress or a tank top and then using as a nice cozy scarf wrapped around your neck in the winter and fall months. So the reason why I was drawn to this is because I haven't done brioche stitch before and I really want to learn it and I think this would be a good introduction to brioche for me because there's no increasing or decreasing it's just knit straight and flat it, I think it, it would be a pretty good beginner project for brioche but I'm not entirely sure so if you're experienced in brioche maybe let me know if this would be a good beginner project for me this one also has some diagonal striping that goes through it out it and I was just drawn to this one because on the sample photos here and the model photos, it's a really low contrast and I love low contrast. I think it just looks so beautiful. And I think, well, yeah, it uses fingering weight yarn. Like I said, I have a lot of fingering weight yarn. It says it can use like up to 1,700 to 2,500 yards. I think I would have enough of a couple colors to, to make something out of this. I kind of am just craving some projects that are just no shaping, no increasing or decreasing, just a nice long rectangle so I don't have to think too much because, yeah, I've been doing a lot of garment knitting lately and I think this would be a nice break for me. Let's do a couple more. Ooh, I like this one. This Oh, it's another Suzanne Summer pattern, which I didn't realize. This is called Flow. And let's see, this isn't part of another ebook, so it's about $35 Canadian and you get 12 patterns. And this uses DK weight yarn. It's a mixture of, oh, it says in flight of bumblebee stitch. I've never heard of that. It looks like it's a mixture of two different stitches. 
which looks really beautiful. It's reversible as well. It's triangular shaped. Oh, it's got the brioche and the flight of bamblebee stitch. So that's what it is. Brioche and then the, the bamblebee. Cool. I've never heard of that, but I think I've seen it before. I just didn't know that's what it was called. That's so cool because then you could do multiple colors with this one. And again, I would want to do something a little bit low contrast. There's only six projects for this one. But I really like it. Oh, it actually looks like most of it's in that bamblebee stitch. And there's only two stripes of, of that brioche. Yeah, that one's pretty. I, again, I just really love the sample the sample photos here. The colors are so pretty. Okay, I found another one here. This is the Sistir by Kirsten Rovetta, and hopefully I'm saying her name correctly, but this is from the Pom Pom Quarterly issue 43. You can buy the um, the ebook for the, for about twenty eight dollars, and this one called to me because it's got some mosaic. I believe it's mosaic. Yeah, mosaic color work in here that looks so cool. It looks like mountains and like a a full sun, or I guess it could be a full moon also. But then it's also got sections of it looks like a rib, and then sections of the color work, and it's just. It's so beautiful and unique, and this one calls for fingering weight yarn. There's one size, and oh yeah, this one calls for 1,100 yards, so I think I would have plenty of yarn to knit this one up. There are 33 projects on this one, and a lot of them did the same color scheme as what was in the sample photo, but there are some different ones in here. And they're all beautiful. Yeah, this one I think, this one looks really fun. I actually am very inspired, feeling very inspired by this one right now. Maybe I should add this to my queue too. My queue is getting too big, <laughs> you guys. I need to calm down on the queue and go in there and clean it up or something because there's no way I need like hundreds of things on my queue right now. All right, let's maybe do one more. Otherwise, I'll just show all of the patterns on the bundle here, <laughs> which I guess would be fine, but... Okay, hmm, it's hard to pick. Okay, let's do this one. This is Kick the Dust Up by Kelly Monster. And this goes for about $9 Canadian. This one I really love because it's got fringe. And I love that. It's got lots of lace and eyelets and fringe. It just looks really bohemian and lovely and beautiful and then down like the center spine of the shawl it's got some beautiful like it looks like lace from what I'm seeing here there's lace throughout all of it but I just love how the spine part is accentuated with this separate lace chart like or lace repeat and then the rest of the lace goes out horizontally that's really pretty oh there's cables in it too cables and eyelets and lace. There's 21 projects, let's check them out. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Fringe is a lot of work sometimes. I love the look of it, but it can just be a lot of work. Getting all those pieces in there, cutting them all and all of that. But it's worth, all of that work for for the outcome, I think. Okay, I know I said that would be the last one, but I think we should maybe do one more. And I'm gonna try and pick one here. Okay, let's do the Vatna by Gudrun Johnston. This one, you can, it's part of a book, but you can buy separately for about $8 Canadian, and this was released October 2021. He says fingering weight yarn, and you could use anything. And I just love the look of this one so, so much. It's mostly, gar I think it's all garter stitch, but then it does have 
the lace in there that creates the zigzag look for the the border there and I just love the 70s look that this gives off and you could really play up the 70s vibe with the colors that you choose what there are only 16 projects for this I guess only 16 on Ravelry I'm, I am aware that people don't put their projects on Ravelry all the time so there's probably more of them out in the world but this one I think if this one isn't in my queue already oh it is <laughs> okay it's in my queue so yeah I'm sure I will be knitting this eventually oh yeah so that gig zigzag stitch is razor shell pattern I love this so much it's a half circle shape too, which is nice. A little different from the triangular shawls, which I think are the, from what I've noticed, it seems like that's the, the most common. This like draped over a nice flowy dress. I would love to have that. Ooh, I'm getting so excited about all these patterns. All right, we're gonna leave it there. I'll leave the bundle down below if you wanna take a peek and see some of the other ones. Also, if there are some other shawl patterns that are not included in this bundle and you think should be, maybe leave a comment down below and then I can go in and I'd love to add some more shawls to this bundle and we can kind of use this bundle together as a good place to go for shawl ideas. And again, if you've knit any of these that were featured on the video or were in the bundle, let us know how that went for you, if you wear it a lot, if you like the process and all of that. I'm trying to get excited for the colder months and I think that some shawl knitting would do the job. So hopefully I can get one on my needles soon but again things come up, other projects come up and gift knitting is, it's gift knitting season also so I need to prioritize all of those gift knits that I need to finish and yeah that just takes up a lot of time so hopefully I can get one a shawl on my needle soon and I'll keep you all updated of course if I do thank you so much for hanging out with me today I hope you found some inspiration and I will talk to you all soon bye